I'm using a different phone. Hey, Jay. Ooh, la 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 la. La 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 la. There we go. Hello. Hey, I know I'm live now. <laughs> What's up, Ace? How are you? Pull this up so I can see all you beautiful people's comments. Oh my god! <laughs> Jimmy! see me? Can you see me? I'm gonna wave at you. Hi. Oop, hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> I'm back. Greetings and salutations everyone. It is Wednesday. Hump day. We're almost done with our work week and we have a three-day weekend coming up here at Coffin Comics. So, Got a lot of fun stuff for you. I'm gonna do a slow pan of some of the stuff we've got going on here for the Kickstarter. And then also at four o'clock today, uh, Arizona Tide will be uh, doing another special live for about 10 minutes with Mr. Brian Polito, Jamie and I. Hi, bye. I'm not talking to you, know your place. Yes, so yeah. Because of the altercations that happened last week over the, uh, of, you know, Catacombs, or not catacombs, the Wheel of Coffin. I've, Brandy has traumatically damaged my psyche, so I am now in the comic book ombre mode. Get, 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 no, get. No, do not listen to him. Do not let, he knows not of what he's talking about. I do know, because the inner child in me had to become a wrestler. To be able to deal with the nonsense that I have to deal. On Don't a daily blame basis. me, you just wanted to run around in your mask and your underroos. I don't wear underoos in here. I work in an office. He wears underoos. When I was eight, I had Superman uh, and Spider-Man underoos. So yeah, no, that's wrong. And she's lying. So because of that, I had to take on the son of the comic ombre for about a week because uh, yeah, it was very traumatic. But you know, we all have fun here. Um, we're really cranking out some really beautiful stuff and uh, also guys thank you very much for a really successful La Muerta Onslaught Kickstarter. Still got 16 days, there's still plenty of time for fun shenanigans and maybe a few surprises for you guys as well. So stay tuned, we're always got something going on here today. So, got some catacomb stuff for you, hopefully that looks good, ha ha ha, okay. So, here's what I got for you guys today. I got some stuff that uh, was some onesies that was found. So some really cool uh, onesie stuff for you guys today. Let me see if anyone's got any comics. Eric, how are you? How is your Wednesday, by the way? Let me turn that down so I don't have to hear my weird voice. Well, we do have office. Sometimes there is uh, Eric to answer your question. Um, yes, coming to HQ is a lot of fun. Uh, but we do all work hard. It's not a lot of fun and shenanigans, but the work environment is definitely like none other I have worked in in all, over a decade now. So yeah, really, really amazing stuff. So anyways, it is fun to come here. I get to look at art. Uh, we have a really amazing crew of people here at HQ. So uh, I can't wait for Swarm Fest when everyone can come together and hang out and check out uh, HQ. Um, hi Jay, Ace. Justice for no justice for Brandy. No. Come on, man. All right. I am doing good today, Eric. Thank you for asking. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I hope everyone's having an amazing week. Uh, and then I got some fun stuff on the catacombs. I'm going to show you today. And then uh, yeah, maybe get a sneak peek of uh, the Kickstarter some more. And like I say, there'll be uh, a live at four o'clock Arizona time. So 
Make sure you get those notifications ready because Jimmy and everyone, we're going to have some fun with you guys today. Oh, okay, great. Here we go. Let's start off with my first item. This is a, a Monty Moore piece. I have two of them available. This is the Monty Moore. These are from the Monty Moore Artist Celebration 2 uh, that we had last week. This is the uh, Defiant Virgin Art. I have two left. Two left of these. And uh, I have more uh, Monty stuff and Artist Celebration stuff for you guys today. And maybe some more on Monday the 31st. So, please, please, please take a gander. Hey, Scott Lewis fans, these are my last two copies of Scott Lewis Returns, Lady Down. Two left. This is it. My last two. Also, guys, there's been a, a lot of really uh, cool stuff going on in the warehouse. They've been uh, receiving the uh, Lady Death Cataclysmic Kickstarter items. Everything's going really smooth. They got stuff signed. Everything's, of course, getting signed for Brian to sign. Things are being laid out. Um, so, yeah, they're doing a heck of a job. And, you know... I know I always prop them, but the warehouse crew has really stepped it up, guys. Um, we've got a whole new batch of people, and they are really busting their humps, and they're all doing an amazing job. So thank you very much again, warehouse crew. Uh, if it wasn't for them, uh, these orders wouldn't be going out as quickly as they have. All right, next up, this is Lady Death Gallery, Bailed Hollow Foil Edition. This is the last copy. I just found this the other week and I thought I'd bring it here oh look let me wave hi I'm gonna wave at you hi waving uh, <laughs> so I got one available if you missed out on these or you weren't able to scoop them up here's your last chance for those items also up two more holographics which I'm really happy one is actually a double signature signature by Brian and a signature by Monty this is Lady Duff pinups naughty lace hollow foil edition so have one signed by Monty and Brian, and one unsigned for all you folks that uh, do not care for signed items. I know there's some folks that do, and some don't. To each their own. We try to make it so you're happy. All right. <sighs> yeah, uh, Jay, how did you place, by the way? Um, I hope everything went well. I see you are resting up. Um, I hope... Uh, you placed really well in the tournament. Um, I saw your post over the weekend, so hope everything uh, went well and your injuries aren't too bad. <laughs> so rest up. Uh, just kick back and hang out with us today, all right? Gosh knows you deserve it. You seem to be working a lot. You do a lot of extra hours, so and hopefully you get some downtime to do some resting. That's not going to sit there. Okay, you stay right there. All right. For Scratch and Dent, I have a Lady Death Rules Volume 2. Hardcover edition. This is the only hardcover I have for Scratch and Dent. So I have the one here. Uh, really beautiful color by Ashley Winter, too, on that one. All right. Five of Lady Death Rules Volume 1 Scratch and Dent are available right now. Five copies. I believe these are going for about $10. Really good deal. Great way to catch up. This collects the first three chapters of the Lady Death Adventures in the Coffin Verse. So right here is the beginning of the Coffin Verse for y'all. Boom. So I got five volume ones, and I got a volume two. Now in the catacombs. Click on the links, jump right in, and go ahead and pick up some stuff. All right, what else do we got here? Oh, congratulations. Place first in combat sparring, second in traditional sparring, Place first away. Right on, bro. Right on. So your your injuries were well earned. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I know that can't be easy. Uh, no, you don't want Brandy to lick your books, guys. No, no, you get ripply effects all over those covers. That's kind of grody. Ew. Oh, looks like a puffing finger. All right, next up, for all you Hellwitch fans out there, this is the risque. Seductress, this is also my scratch and dent for you guys. Mm, look at my nose. Yes, this is a scratch and dent for you guys. Got a little finger sensors going on. 
One available, scratch and dent, here at the catacombs. Also guys, we've been leaving up some stuff up there, uh, just so we can just sell out of it. And uh, so far everyone's been scooping stuff up. Next up, here we go. One copy, another scratch and dent. This is swimsuit number one, Jesse Witchman, Naughty Edition. Scratch and dent. This is the only one I have. I'm gonna wave to myself, hi. <laughs> Jesse Witchman, Swimsuit Naughty Edition, Scratch and Dent. I have one available for you today. All right, next up. Two of these available for the Lady Death, Nightmare Simply 2, Premier Foil Edition. I have two Scratch and Dent copies available right now in the store. Holla, holla, holla. Get it, get it. Save you some dollars. Ain't no catch. Sometimes I find some stuff to help make your dollar stretch. Hmm. No, don't don't have her look one. Yeah, guys, the La Muerta Kickstarter is amazing. I can't wait to read this new chapter, man. I can't wait. All right, next up, Nightmare 72. This is the Naughty Edition, Scratch and Dent. I have one available right now. Now, if I recall, this should be going for about $10, $12. Really great value. Normally it retails for uh, $25, 40 Right around there, but good value, good deal. All right. So I came across a whole box of these that are scratch and dent, so this is a really great thing. And not only that, it's a beautiful art in here they can use and maybe cut them out and put them on uh, in little frames or something. This is Lady Death Masters, David Harrigan, Premier Edition. I believe I have almost 40 copies of scratch and dent available for you guys today. So you want to pass on David Harrigan's like your favorite artist. You want to show everyone off his work, but there you go. We have the Master's Edition Scratch and Dent. Uh, those are going for $7 a piece. $7 a piece. It's a really great value. So go ahead and pick them up. I have 46 copies. They're on until they're gone. Hey, that was a good run. All right, yay. All right, more Scratch and Dent. Hell Witch, Hellborn, number one, Premier Editions. I have two Scratch and Dents available right now. One and a two, from me to you. Woo hoo, woo hoo, oh, why is this, there it goes, that's better. There it is, okay. Yeah, you don't want people to lick your comics, man, especially Brandon, you don't know where that mouth has been. <laughs> Next up. Blasting Anthem 2, Naughty Edition, Scratch and Dent. Big old things to cover up right there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I have two available for me to you today. All right, last but not least, Scorched Earth number two. This is the standard edition. I have one Scratch and Dent available. Now, Scratch and Dents tend to sell out quick. Um, I had uploaded a bunch of uh, Scratch and Dents on a previous show. And pretty much all of it sold out. So um, if you don't see it on the catacombs, definitely check in the scratch and dent section. A section, section. Even in a mask, I can't talk. So on the uh, Coffee Comic Shop, there will be a link for scratch and dents. Go ahead and click on that, and I'll show you all the stock that is available for scratch and dent. And there's a very, very nice selection for you guys to choose from. See if anyone has any questions. Hi, Miguel. How are you, man? How are you doing today? Hope you had a good weekend. And I'm really looking forward to Swarmfest so we can all be together and I get to see you guys in person again. Yes, I am not hooked on phonics. No, I am not. <laughs> all right, let me take a quick look at things here. All right, great. I'm going to do a quick pan to show you guys still all these amazing books we have on the La Muerta Kickstarter going on right now. There's my little work area. I really like the metallic card collections. Um, for those who collect these, um, this has been some really cool, cool stuff. Uh, the first time I saw uh, metal cards was at a con. I worked at the coffin booth in 2015. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe late 2014. And that's where Brian introduced me to metallic Metallic cards and also the Crystal Metallico. Yeah, I would like one too. Um, that action figure, Jay, that they did, I don't think it was like five, six years ago, was absolutely stunning. 
Uh, these are all the Chase editions. Of course, you won't know what you get. It's all random, but there is some really beautiful stuff. Look at those Omegas. The Omegas are just absolutely stunning. And these are the standards. A lot of this stuff is really low print run. Limited to 55. Limited to 55. Yeah, so these are all limited to 55. And the Omegas, what's their limited to one? So whoever gets those Omegas, you're getting uh, some pretty impressive artwork. And uh, a really nice collectible as well. I am hooked on Coffin Onyx. <laughs> and here's that... Um, Fine art print. I'm just going to do soup plant. Look at the detailing Don McTigg did on this. I mean, this has uh, really uh, been the year where our artists have just been really. That is a mom and Z on the cover. Just, I mean, look at our artists. I mean, like I was telling David Harrigan over the weekend when we were doing the Phoenix Rising. It's just amazing that um, all our artists, like it, I, I didn't recognize the Harrigans worth world got there because it was like wow that's a radically different look for him and don mcteague has just really gone into a really beautiful high art concept on here i mean did the golden hearts i mean just look at this archway yeah smoke guns the beautiful beautiful work done um thank you very much for contributing these are the ultimate editions joel gomez is the cover artist over here is the Legend Editions. Again, Don McTeague. And you'll get three in this one. You get the Legend. Legend Virgin Art. And the Noir. I like the Noirs. I really do. You can just see a lot of the details she's put into the work on these covers. And it's absolutely stunning. I often wonder what's behind there. Well, you guys will have to stay tuned and find out. Because I don't know yet. And I don't dare tease. Ow, what am I stepping on? <laughs> Here is the um, art book edition. This is the standard regular edition. It'll be uh, Sora Sun K is the cover artist. And this is really beautiful. Again, our artists have stuffed up their games. This is a signed special edition. And our normally our art books, we would, uh, this would be a white page and what have you. And then normally we would, um, place the COA on there but we took it to a whole new level so it is now printed on here we have this beautiful, beautiful inlet art by Joel Gomez look at John Boy Myers we have stuff by Richard Ortiz Sun K just the list goes on and on who's in here Palo's in here Mendoza I mean just, just amazing art guys look at that great art by Mendoza Paolo that was the retaliation cover. Whew, my chrome. God. Always love this image. This is the deathbed image, and it is just stunning. Yeah, a uh, Sun K's, uh, her hair. I, I noticed that you mentioned that too. Oh, I love that idea, Eric. What a way to think outside of the box for an original art edition. Wow. Dude, it, you know what? I think that art, Eric, would be well worth the wait. Well worth the wait. Wow, that is cool. That is a great idea for a homage. Bravo, Eric. That's a really good idea. I, I'm a little jealous. I'd love to see that um, if and when it gets done because that would be a great idea for an homage. Rocky Horror Picture Show with Coffin Comics characters. Bravo. I really like that. I really like that. Here's the hollow foil. This is the mega foil. Can't wait to see what the finished product looks with all the foil gracing that cover and all that art. We've got a crystal metallico behind you. This is the seduction edition. Army. Yeah. And, and definitely um, a lot of artists are super busy right now. Uh, normally this would have been the, um, excuse me, some of those ash cans we got. And all yes, guys. Every day we fill the cauldron with new backers. Every day when we go live for a wheel of coffin. So just know, we keep adding tickets, adding tickets. And as Brian says, can't win it unless you're in it. This is the Onslaught Allies Edition. 
Ooh, now there's a name I haven't heard of. Steven Platt, yeah. That would be really cool, amazing looking uh, stuff right there. I really love his stuff. Good job, good. Jay, bravo, good one. When we just announced bam, our next bonus item, the micro gallery. That is so awesome. Can't wait to see uh, these all come out. There's the hardcover Lady Death Rules, or uh, La Muerta Lives Volume 2's softcover and hardcovers are part of this Kickstarter. If you um, are a first time backer and you want to know the backstory and um, you don't want a lot of books, I recommend getting La Muerta Lives Volume 1 and Volume 2. That'll give you the first six chapters of the La Muerta story. So really great way to catch up great value and it's something you could pass on to your friends uh, or other people you're like hey I read this character's La Muerta's backstory I would really love love you to check it out so it's a really a good character uh, she's got some badass stories yes I I am excited I'm glad we've got it here for you can't wait to uh, get everything all compiled and uh, yeah it's so far so good with this La Muerta Kickstarter thank you guys here's the black metal we have uh, raffled off a few of these. And then also, um, some will be tipped in. So let me give that a little extra room so she doesn't fall off the table. So, you know. We also talk about our uh, Kickstarter value proposition. Well, pass it on. Here we go. Each physical ward includes the free all unlocked bonus items. Free U.S. shipping. There's a free digital download, so if you don't want to mess up your comic, you can read it on your device or on your computer. And free optional autograph and certificate of uh, Brian Polito. Dude, that black metal is pretty sharp, isn't it? Richard Ortiz did a beautiful job on that. I mean, just stunning. Uh, I'd seen the pencil sketches of this uh, in Jimmy's office. Um, God, it's been a while, and it, it, I was just like, wow, I can't wait till we can show this off to everyone, so... Um, good eye man. This is a really beautiful beautiful piece Beautiful all of these books are amazing Prints if, you, if you're not into like the books we have prints 11 by 17 So the fine art print like I told you guys and then probably one of the most popular items we have on any Kickstarter is the uh, Mystery envelopes and basically we will be placing one of these many Limited editions um, we have some where there's like 50 made, 60 made, stuff like that. And then sometimes Brian will rage, uh, occasionally throw in Omegas, BP editions, just, just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. These are going to be a limit 40. These are the uh, Joe Gomez ones. And this is absolutely a beautiful piece. I really am impressed with this. So um, this is a mystery envelope. It is, I agree with you. And then we also have the Affinity Verse. There's the Undead La Muerta. This is the Cosmic La Muerta. I really like the headdress they gave her on that one. This is the uh, Samurai. Again, beautiful. And I love it. It really captures the character and the essence of La Muerta in these great Infinity covers. The Luchador. Oh, yeah. I can relate to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Vampire Hunter. That's a beautiful homage to uh, Vampire Hunter D, if I'm not mistaken, Joel. Beautiful. And then, of course, the Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo has uh, really taken off. Uh, I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, I have really... Um, I met her at the Fiend Fest, and um, just her art really caught my eye. I thought it found it... Just super beautiful and absolutely stunning to look at. Uh, and I just get lost in her art all the time. All right, I just got a few more minutes. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know now. Um, Beth King, uh, I got your uh, item. Uh, I'm going to be looking for it. I got you on my customer list. Like I said, it would on Monday. Uh, it was nice chatting to you. And uh, I really got my fingers crossed I can help you find that book. Um, Yes, actually, I could, and I would love, like, a velvet-style painting of La Muerta imagery. Like, you know, just those, from the 70s, those, like, black, light, velvet paintings. I would love to see a La Muerta one of those. Absolutely, with a black light on it. Ooh, 
doggy. Beautiful stuff. And it's got to be like a Aztec sacrifice or something like that. Something really dramatic. Um, I think would be perfect for a black light cover. Um, let's see what else we got. Ooh, a lot of messages already. All right, guys. I only got a couple minutes. Um, I just want to say uh, I will see you guys Monday. Um, we will be closed, uh, but there will still be a show. Jimmy and I will uh, get a show recorded for you, and we'll have all those items pop up. If anything changes, I'll definitely let you know here on the Sworn Nation. Um, I also want to say uh, thank you, everyone. It has been a very wonderful week, and I hope everyone around the world is enjoying this season. Uh, we're coming out of the dark times that was last year. Things are starting to spring up again. Concerts are coming back, cons are going to be coming back, everything's coming back, and I just want to know, it has been a pleasure to hopefully entertain you guys throughout last year, through the shutdowns and all that nasty COVID grossness. Um, I hope you guys were entertained. It was my pleasure to help you guys uh, hopefully get through this with a big smile and just wacky silliness and beautiful comic books. So I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. We will talk to you later. Have a wonderful weekend. And a better tomorrow. Bye, guys. Everyone have a sweet rest of your week. And please, please, please be safe. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.